All right, what's going on today, YouTube? Welcome back to your favorite Cycles YouTube channel. This week, we're checking out a new style of tube here and seeing if it actually stands up to its height. But before we get into today's video, if you are new to my channel, make sure you head down below, hit that subscribe button for me. If you already are subscribed, make sure you hit that bell icon right next to that. That way you get notified every time I upload. That way you don't miss any of this awesome cycling content on this channel. So like I said, today we're taking a look at a brand new tube here. These are the Kenda Aerolution tubes. Now some of you guys may have heard of them. Some of you guys may be like, that just looks like a regular tube. And uh, I agree with you. Kind of looks like a regular tube, but supposedly it is a fancy, fancy tube that does a lot of things. So, what Kenda says, they said the Kenda Air Revolution tube offers four times the air retention and increased puncture protection while still weighing the same as a standard butyl rubber tube, allowing riders to pump less and ride more. So essentially it's made to hold air better, is what it's designed for, and makes it so you don't have to fill your tire every single time you go for a ride. And I think they're interesting. I want to try this out and I actually want to test and see if it weighs the same as a regular tube, and I'll test to see if it actually holds air longer or not. So behind me we have my good old Trek 3700 here, which as you guys know is kind of my, my dummy mule for tube tests and air tests and everything like that because it's a good controlled bike. It doesn't go very, it doesn't really go anywhere. It sits in the garage and hangs here. Don't have to worry about getting punctures. Don't have to worry about that. And I can fill the tires to the same pressure and we can see what happens from there. So it's a really good control and to see if stuff like this air illusion tube actually works and makes a difference. So what we're going to do, we're going to swap out the tube that's in the front tire of the Trek 3700. We're going to pull that tube out. We're going to test the weight difference between this and that tube. Put this air illusion tube in the front tire, fill them up to the same pressure, and then we'll come back and a few weeks or so and we'll see if there's any difference on how much air is actually in those tires because for people like me who have a bike like this or who have multiple bikes like this that don't get to ride their bike all the time having a tube that holds air four times longer makes a difference you don't have to fill the tires every time you take it down or if you have kids with tons of kids bikes you can put these in their bike tires and you don't have to worry about it you can leave them there they can keep riding their bike no extra stuff like slime or anything like that it's all just gonna be just the tube itself so, I just want to pull this out. We'll see if this looks any different than just a standard tube, just out of my curiosity. So we got a 26 by 2 to 2.4 in a Presta valve, a 48 millimeter Presta valve. It's got a red valve cap. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, looking at it, it's really not, I don't feel like it's much different than just a regular tube. It feels the same. It's still got that white powder on it, just like a regular tube. Um, I kind of like the red cap. Okay, so they are not a removable valve core. They are all just one piece. So something to keep in mind for if you're going for Presta valve, just one piece, no removable core on them. I mean, realistically, this feels just like a normal tube. So let's pull the one out of the front. I'm not going to take you guys through that boring stuff. We're just going to cut right to that being pulled out, and we'll weigh these two together and see if see if they actually weigh the same. If they do, awesome. Let's throw the new. We'll throw the new one in, and we'll see how long it lasts after filling them up to the same pressure okay so let's go ahead and weigh these so the one that was in there is actually a slightly different size this is a 26 by 1.9 2.125 so this is a slightly narrower tube but if they're close it kind of gives us an idea if we're if we're kind of in the same ballpark or not so let's throw our scale on here okay we've got pounds and ounces we'll do those first let's throw our tube on here our old one Okay, we got 6.2 ounces, which comes out to 175 grams is what we're looking at for our old tube. So we'll grab our new Aerolution tube here. Aerolution tube, we're at 9 ounces, which comes out to 254 grams. So it is slightly heavier, but again, it is a bigger tube. Just a little bit, but not that much. Huh, let me go see what else I got real quick. So just out of my curiosity, I went and weighed this one off my dirt jumper here. It's a 26 by 175 to 2.4. This is a Schrader valve, but um, that weighs the same as this guy. This is the other one, 6.6. .6. So we can definitely say they don't weigh the same. Yeah, about 40, 50 grams more than a standard tube. So they don't weigh the same. So can't can't say that. So <laughs> sorry, Kenda. They don't weigh the same. We'll see if it's worth putting this in when it's like 50 grams more. Now again, most people's 50 grams is gonna make a difference. No, but it doesn't weigh the same. So let's throw this into the tire, let's throw this into the front tire and we'll fill it up, fill both tires up the same pressure and then we'll 
go from there. All right, so we got the new air lucian tube in the front tire, and we're gonna fill, whoops, and we're gonna fill both these tires to 45 PSI. It's kind of what I normally have them at. So let's go ahead, let's go ahead, hook this one on first, and we'll go ahead, pump them up to 45 PSI. Guess I should go 50, because that's the actual like, line. We're gonna go 50, change of mind. All right, there's 50 for our air lucian tube, and we'll use our red cap here. We'll stick the red cap on the one with the air lucian tube. That way we don't forget. <laughs> All right, now we'll get our back tire, and we'll do the same thing, 50 PSI. All right, black cap on the regular tube. All right, so both tubes, rear with just a regular standard inner tube, front with the Aerolution, with the Kenda Aerolution 2, of course the red valve caps will remember, set to 50 PSI. So we're gonna go ahead, hang it right back up in a spot right up there on the wall and we'll check in a couple weeks. See if there was any kind of difference. See if the rear tire lost more air than the front tire. That's really what we're seeing. If this tire, the front tire with the Aerolution tube, We'll hold air longer. If it holds air longer, awesome, we're set. If not, we'll talk about it then, but I think it's gonna hold air longer. Let's, let's see, for me it's gonna be a few weeks, for you guys it's gonna be as simple as a couple seconds here. Three weeks later. All right, so it has been a month with the air lucian tube in there and the regular tube, and it's time to check the pressures on them and see how they actually are. And now I'll tell you, just by feeling the tires, the regular tube back here, which is on the rear, Definitely feels low, for sure feels low. Versus our air loosen up on the front, that feels pretty, pretty solid still. So we gotta do our full, full scientific test here. So let's hook the pump up, see what pressure we actually have in these right now. And then I have a little bonus test as well that I ran at the same time. So we'll see how well that does as well. So let's hook the pump up, see what pressures we got. We're gonna start with our air loosen tube up on the front and we'll see what we're looking at after a whole month of sitting out here. We are at a, what is that, 38, 38 PSI. So we started at 45, so we're at 38. So seven PSI in a month. Okay, it's not bad. So we'll go ahead, tighten that guy back up. Let's go take a look at the rear, which is our regular tube in it, and see what we're looking like here. It is gonna be much lower. Woo, 20 PSI, all right. So we lost seven PSI in the front tire, 25 in the rear over a month. That's not bad. You can still ride on that tire on the front. That is not bad at all. 35, what did I say, 30, 38? That's still within the realm of what it is. And this thing says 30 to 50. So, or 30 to 55, I think is what it says. So that's still well within its rideable recommendation for it. This guy's a little low. So I wouldn't recommend riding that guy. Um, interesting. That actually did work really well. That's actually good. That's actually a solid pressure difference. Okay, so let's go check. We're gonna check our bonus here, which is actually my road bike right up here. So right after we did this video here, the next day I actually swapped the tires and tubes on the road bike. And we put the air lucian tubes in the road bike. So much higher pressure tire. Those ones we said I said 110 psi, which is what the tires said they wanted to go up to. It's not what I'm riding them at, but that's what the tires said to put them up to. So I put them to 110. So we're gonna check those as well and see how it works in a high pressure setup versus a kind of a lower pressure setup. And we'll see if there's any kind of difference between those two. All right, so like I said, we set these tires at 110 PSI one day later than the Trek 3700. So we're gonna take a look, see how much these are doing. They still feel very, very firm. I like they should be on a road bike. So let's, uh, let's take a look, see how they did. We are at 70 PSI. So they do lose air more than a low pressure tire, which is to be given. I'm curious if the rear is the same. Let's see. Yeah, we're about the same. So these are at 70 PSI. So I lost 40 PSI over a month, which really isn't bad for a road bike because I'm used to them losing five PSI a night. <laughs> so um, normally that would be, what is that? eight nights, so a week to go down 40 PSI. So that's really not bad. That's, that's a decent, decent change. Like how these tires feel, I would like, 
if I needed to go take this for a test ride or wanted to just take it for a quick little spin, I would take this how it was. So really that's not, that's not bad. 40 PSI over a month. That's not bad at all. On a road bike, on this one, I'm pretty used to it losing about five PSI a night. So for 40 PSI, that'd be what, like eight days a week? So a month, that's pretty, that's pretty solid for this bike. And only losing seven PSI in the mountain bike and my Trek 3700 over a month, that's great for me. And I'll tell you, my biggest thing is I have so many bikes up there that when I want to go ride them and I just go grab them off the rack, nine times out of 10, the tires are flat. So it's kind of a pain in the butt because I have to fill the tires up and then go for a ride. If I can let them last for a month, that's not bad. I could definitely swing through that. That is a long time for air to still last in the tire. And I even put them in my daughter's bike within the past month too. And her tires are still doing great too. Those are little 20 by two inch tires. They're still doing great. Still around 35 PSI, 30, 35 PSI. They're still doing great. She's riding that every day. That's really my test for puncture protection is her riding that every day. So if anything pops up for punctures, that's the bike that's gonna get them. Most of these bikes back here are not really gonna be puncture prone. They don't get ridden in those kind of situations very much. The road bike, it might happen, but the rest of them, not really gonna happen that often. So ultimately, are the Kenda Airlution tubes a great upgrade for just your standard tubes? I would say yes, definitely they are. You can definitely get thicker tubes out there and stuff like that that has stuff in there that's heavier and for sure heavier and you know, it's just a thicker regular rubber, but these guys will, will weigh just a slight bit more than a regular tube and feeling just like a regular tube, honestly, they work great holding that air in for that extended period of time. They do what they're supposed to do very well. As you can tell from the mountain bike, between the back tire where I wouldn't ride that versus the front tire, I would totally ride that with the Aerolution tube. So, makes a big difference. I feel like they're a great, great value option for someone who doesn't ride their bike as often and just gets tired of filling tires up. Even for kids, they have the tubes in kids sizes so you can Set your kid's bike up with one of these. It's supposed to have better puncture protection and you don't have to fill your kid's tire up every time they want to go for a ride. You can just leave it and have them be happy and be able to ride their bike and have fun. So I think they're going to be a great value for anyone out there in the cycling world. So I'm going to have a link down in the description below. Check them out. Pick some up for your own size tire and put them in your bike. Not have to worry about it at all. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video or at least found it somewhat entertaining. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Appreciate the support. Any comments or questions, let me know down in the comment section below. Love talking to you guys. Love answering questions you guys have. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching today.